Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today as we enjoy this amazing hobby together. Today's video is going to be different from my normal videos where I open up product. Today, I'm not going to be opening up any product, but instead I will be giving you all an update on my collection. And at the end of the video, I will be doing my 50 subscribers giveaway. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to brag or flex at all. You know, I just thought it'd be cool to document my collection on my birthday every year and to give you all like a behind the scenes look at how it's grown and where it is now. So uh, I just started collecting about a year ago and I want to say like in late February, early March of 2021. So my collection isn't amazing yet, but I know that with time it'll get there. Regardless, I'm very proud of my collection and the current system I have in place. Um, so uh, also remember, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing my 50 subscribers giveaway at the end of the video. But first, let's dive into uh, my collection here. Now, we're going to take a look at my wax and sealed product first. As you can see, uh, I've got lots of magic, some Pokemon, some Transformer figures, uh, Legos. I even got some graded comics um, in my collection here, as well as baseball wax, of course. So um, most of my wax and sealed product actually consists of Magic the Gathering Commander pre-constructed decks. Um, I don't know. In 2019, during COVID, I decided to start collecting these. And so I've got, so far, I have two of every pre-constructed Commander deck since 2019. and um, Hopefully I can uh, afford the older stuff. I know some of the older stuff, um, it's uh, pretty expensive, but um, it'd be cool if I can collect all the Commander pre-constructed decks. Um, I've also got two Pokemon Celebration UPCs here. I got these off of Target.com uh, earlier this week. And as for Wax, I've got Archives. I've got Allen and Ginter. I've got Bowman, Bowman Chrome. Hangers from uh, 2021 Series 1, Series 2, and Update. And I also have a blaster box of twenty of the 2016 Chicago Cubs World Series uh, Championship Limited Edition set. Um, and to the side here is more wax that I actually plan on opening up on the channel. So everything I've shown you so far um, is stuff that I kind of want to um, hold on to and maybe open up in the future. But um, this stuff here to the side is stuff that I want to open up on the channel. I've got, um, you know, Topps Chrome. I've got Chronicles Mosaic and Flux Basketball. I've got some update hangers. I've got some random stuff here. So uh, that's my wax collection here. Up next, I've got my, uh, what I like to call my sentimental value PC. It's just a Pelican case filled with my favorite cards and my slabs. Uh, I only own a handful of slabs at the moment, but um, hopefully over the years, um, that will improve. Uh, I got this Luis Arise card here. It's a Bowman First Auto. Um, I got this from my cousin. He actually sent it to me for free when he found out that I was starting this YouTube channel. And um, you know, he, he himself, he's got an amazing collection. And so uh, I just thought it was really cool that he would send me this card. This is actually my very first bowman first auto and so plus i'm a twins fan too and i love louis arise and so i'm really happy to uh receive this card from him um so those are my slabs that's it i just own a handful of those next are cards or sets that i am collecting and um i've got some i don't know i think it's kind of interesting stuff to collect but we'll see um regardless it's stuff that I really like. I've got 2021 Prism Basketball here. I've got some pink stained glass inserts. I pulled the pink trout in. I instantly knew. I just instantly knew that I had to collect the rest of them. So, um, you know, I work at a church and I love that stained glass feature in the back in the background there. And so these cards kind of combine my two favorite things in this world besides my wife and kids. And that's church and baseball. And so uh, I've got these three here. Uh, I am still on the hunt for a good deal on an Aaron Judge and Juan Soto. There's only five cards in this insert set here. 
And next um, are my 1969 peel-off inserts from 2021 Topps Archives. You know, people don't really like Topps Archives, but I think it's a really fun set. I like it more than um, Chronicles Baseball. Um, and so, you know, I just love these cards. I think they look kind of silly. You know, <laughs> it's just the player's face just floating there, like, in front of, like, an oval-colored oval you know and so it's a very bold design and almost kind of a silly design so i've got four of them here in my possession and i've actually actually owned the other 11 so i have the whole complete 15 set 15 card set but um the other 11 are on com c are at com c right now and i'll ship those out to me in a few weeks or in a couple of months once i'm done collecting um the next set which is um the my house inserts from 2021 optic basketball right and so um i was able to rip two of these and i currently own about four or five on com c as well and so once i finish off um the my house inserts um, i'll ship those and the uh, rest of the 1969 peel off inserts to me and i'll do a video about um i'll do a mail day video about that as well so uh the other stuff that's inside this pelican case are my cards that have um incredible sentimental value to me um my most memorable um the or the greatest sports moment that i've ever experienced is when the cubs won the world series in 2016 i'm originally from illinois and so um you know i i have all of the so these are the cards that the individual cards that come from the 2016 World Series Championship Limited Edition set. You know, every time a team wins a World Series, they release a set of cards um, to kind of commemorate that team's, um, you know, playoff journey and the World Series win. And so um, that, that's where these 25 cards come from. And I also own the Tops Now um, 2016 Chicago Cubs World Series Championship set. Uh, there's only 15 cards in this set, and, you know, well, after the Cubs won, um, Topps released this set for only for about, I think, only like 24 or 48 hours. And they only produce about 7,000 of these sets. And so it's just nice that I have one. Uh, I've also got my very first ever redemption card and my very first ever Panini points card. I don't know why. I'm, I, I just... I just decided I'm going to hold on to these since they were my first ones. So, and then, um, yeah, the, these four cards right here, um, you know, they're, they're not, you know, amazing cards. Um, but you know what, to me, they're really important because they're actually gifts from my nephews. Right. And so I've supported my nephews and bought them tons of uh, Pokemon cards and they wanted to return the favor. Right. And so they were about to drop two hundred dollars on me, and buy me a bunch of uh, of wax. And I told them no, like yes, can't do that. Um, but they were insistent, and I was really touched by their generosity. So, um, so I was like, all right, guys. So let me just, okay, you know, you guys can't buy me a hobby box. You guys can't spend that much money on me. But how about this? I'll let you guys buy me some hangers and some packs. So I picked up a, a few hangers and some packs and. Uh, these four cards were the best cards um, from that break. And so that's why these four cards um, have a lot of sentimental value for me. So, yeah, so that kind of is the end of everything inside of my Pelican case, which kind of contains, which contains my slabs and um, the cards that have the most sentimental value to me. So after I open up all my cards um, on this channel, uh, I separate them into various piles right and uh, the first pile is my what i like to call you know just bulk base cards right so i put all of my bulk base cards and my less desired inserts into these you know 800 card count boxes right and these don't contain any rookie cards um or any cards of like the top five players like trout tati soto acuna uh, those type of players, right? And so I organize these by the year, then the set, 
and then numerically. But I put them in backwards so that you can see the number, right? That way it's easier to organize and find the card quickly. Um, and my goal is to actually sell all of my bulk base and insert cards on an annual basis. Just because this stuff, man, this stuff just piles up and it just gets everywhere and it just adds to the clutter and just adds to the chaos of collecting cards, right? So, and then up next are where I put most of my rookies and insert cards, right? So, um, this is where I place, you know, my less desirable rookies, my uh, less desirable insert cards. You know, I, I actually put them in these boxes, you know, these kind of two row boxes. And I hold, and my goal is to hold on to these boxes for like 10 years. And, and then I'll, you know, sell whatever I have laying around. Right. And the only, the reason why I hold on to these, well, well the reason why I want to, why I want to hold on to these is just in case like, like a 27 year old rookie blows up, you know, that way I'll be able to kind of um, go back and pull their Bowman first card and their rookie card out and sell them. Right. And so these cards are also organized by the year, the set, and then numerically. And so that's where I store my rookies and my inserts or my less desirable rookies and my inserts. Right. And the next, um, I've got like a little team PC right here. As you can tell, it's just Cubs and twins players. And then the box to the right is what I call my veteran PC, right? These are some of my favorite players in the game. Um, and these are, you know, veterans, um, retired players, Hall of Famers, you know, like Soto and Trout, Ichiro, Greg Maddox, Randy Johnson, Babe Ruth, uh, players like that. You know, pretty much I consider a, pers a player a veteran if they have been in – professional ball or, or the major leagues for two years. I know that's some people, when they say veteran, they think of a player who's been in the league for like five years, but in the card collecting world, you know, for me, there's prospects, rookies, and then there's veterans, you know, and a veteran is anyone who's been in the league for more than two years. Right. And then up next is kind of where I, spend the bulk of my time and energy in this hobby and it's what i like to call my young stars pc right this is where i store my bowman firsts the prospects the rookies and the second year cards that might have like gold cup logos on them or like the future stars logo on them um, of young stars that are showing some promise Right. I mean, you know, we got like Alec Bohm's in here. We've got, you know, Aaron Sabato and Austin Martins, Blaze Jordans. We've got, you know, to Brian Hayes. And so this is where I store pretty much um, the young stars of the game. Right. And, you know, these are the more desired cards in the hobby. You know, this is where all the hype is in the hobby. And wherever there's hype, there's the opportunity to make money right so my goal is to actually go through all of these cards and pre-grade them and when it's profitable um, i'll send them to psa or sgc and get them graded right and so that's this is where i spend a lot of my time um in my young stars pc um and so up next um you know i just wanted to quickly show you guys my football and basketball pc um this is um all of my basketball and football cards. This is everything that I own regarding uh, relating to basketball and football cards. Um, as you know, I mainly open up baseball cards, but sometimes I open up basketball or football cards too. And again, I use the same system I use for my baseball cards. You know, I put my top rookies in one area, my other rookies and in inserts in another area, and then I have my team and player PCs, and then I've got my bulk base and insert cards that um, I don't really care too much about. And so just wanted to show you guys all that stuff as well. You know, I've got some pretty nice cards in there. I've got a bunch of um, Lamellos and some Ants and Justin Herberts in there. So this box, I don't really have a name for it. I just call it my selling box. And this box contains all the cards that I want to sell. And so 
I've got cards in here that I've pre-graded and want to either send to PSA or SGC. Um, as you can tell, I've got a couple of cards here. I've got a Lamello Silver and a Joe Burrow. I think these are called Prism Blacks. And then I've got other cards that I don't want to grade that I just want to sell on eBay, Starstock, or Copsy, right? And I just want to put this disclaimer up that I have never submitted a card before to get created, but I am very excited to. You know, I'm enjoying the process of learning how to do that. And as you can tell, I've got, you know, I've got, mm, I've got, you know, a couple cards that I think, um, will get tens and you know they're not too bad i mean that lamello silver and that joe burrow i think these cards will get tens crossing my fingers right and so i'm going to go through the rest of my basketball cards and then i'll go through my football cards it's kind of late to kind of grade football cards because the playoffs are starting and i don't think i'll get a card back in time to sell it um during the football season and then I will go through, once I'm done with my basketball and football cards, I'll go through my, my Young Stars baseball PC that I have, where I have all of those Alec Bohms and Cabrians and Jonathan India cards. And so, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully, my cards that I want to send to get graded, that I think will get tens, um, that, that little section will grow. And so, yeah. Wish me luck and wish me lots of tens if you could. That's it. That's my collection. Thank you so much for watching this, this video up to this point. You know, I, I started collecting just a year ago. And so my collection isn't amazing yet, but I know that it will get there. All right. And uh, regardless of where it is right now, I'm very proud of my collection. You know, I've learned so much in the past year and I can't wait to start pre-grading all of my, you know, my young stars um, that I'm collecting. Um, and so, uh, you know, hopefully that process goes well and I learn a lot about the whole grading and pre-grading stuff and, um, I will be able to maybe hopefully be able to acquire some more slabs and some more hobby products for this channel, as well as grow my collection of random inserts that I'm collecting, like those pink, um, prism stained glass cards and, uh, those uh, 69 peel off um, cards from uh, archives, you know. So in review, um, after I open up my cards, um, I've got three main collections here. I've got my bulk base cards, and then I've got my uh, my rookies that are not as desirable, and my inserts. That's my second collection of uh, cards, and then I've got my PC, which contains you know my team PC my veteran PC, and my, most importantly, my Young Stars PC, um, which um, hopefully will be graded within the next year or so if PSA um, opens up their bulk grading pro uh, grading level soon. And then, and then with all my cards, you know, I try to sell them, you know. And they all kind of go everywhere. They go on eBay, they go to Starstock, they go to Comp C. Uh, you know, they kind of go anywhere they'll get sold, right? So that's my, that's, that that in a nutshell is my process and my card collecting and card flipping system that I have in place right now. So uh, let me know what you think, man. Let me know where I can improve my current system. Let me know if it inspired you or was entertaining. You know, I apologize if this video is a little confusing. You know, I'm kind of quickly putting this video together before I head out to go celebrate my 40th birthday with my family. Um, but before we end this video, we have to do the 50 subs giveaway, right? And we're gonna be giving away this um, cello pack of 2020-21 Prism Basketball. And so I currently, out of the 50 something subscribers that I have, um, I have 29 of them are public. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna use this random number generator and I'm gonna generate it, um, let's say four times. Four times because I'm turning 40, four is a number, is a digit in the number 40. So I'm gonna generate this thing four times um, and then we will, um, on, the fourth, um, on the fourth time I click generate, 
whatever number it is, I'm just going to count down on my list, and that's the person who's going to win 50 subs. Uh, uh, win this uh, cello of Panini Prism basketball here. So let's go here. Here's, here's one, two, three, four, five, and here it is, the fourth time we're going to generate this. And this, and whoever the eighth subscriber, public subscriber on my on, on my channel is, in this on this list is going to win this cello pack of prison basketball. So number eight, right? Yep, number eight. Let's do this. Make sure we're at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Game day legends. Congratulations, you subscribed to me in June on June 11th, 2021, and I currently follow you. So that's awesome. I love your stuff, man. He he puts out a lot of great stuff. Um, he puts out a lot of hobby stuff and a lot of retail stuff as well. So give Game Day Legends a follow. And Game Day Legends, I'll be reaching out to you um, for your address. I'm gonna be sending you this cello pack of 2020 21. Uh, prism basketball so if you didn't win don't worry i've got more stuff i'm giving away Where, where's all my stuff i'm giving away all right right here right here at 75 subs i'm going to be giving away this blaster box of wnba basketball from panini prism and once i hit 100 subscribers i'm going to be giving away all these cell packs of baseball right here for 100 subscribers i'm going to give away mosaic optic heritage chronicles and uh update Right, this is update. Ah, sorry about that. Yep, and that's update right there. All right, so it's late. It's about two thirty in the morning, and I am gonna go to bed. And so, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video.